Welcome back. This is going to be my daily forecast for the US indexes. We are going to look at the S&P 500, the Dow Jones, and the Nasdaq. If you would like to support our channel, you're welcome to click the support button and the like button and uh, put, uh, click the bell button as well if you want to see our newest videos. So on the on screen at the moment, I have the S&P 500. And as you can see, um, we have broken down quite significantly uh, on Monday. Um, the trading session isn't over yet. And at the moment we are um, down around, um, look at here, around 1.23%. Uh, we are um, uh, in a massive pullback at this moment. Uh, we have fallen from the highs to these lows here, around 9.6% in the last two weeks. And uh, momentum is basically pointing downwards. We had a massive sell-off on, on Friday, and the sell-off is continuing now on Monday. If you look at the technical indicators, uh, the MACD has crossed the same, uh, this line here, indicating that we are in bearish momentum, and uh, the RSI is also pointing downwards. We are almost oversold, not, uh, not yet. We're at the 31, so we're getting close to uh, oversold um, uh, area. So we may see a pullback uh, uh, tomorrow, uh, but I do expect this market to go much lower from here. So in the weekly uh, forecast, I expected this market to go and retest the uh, 3200 level, which is around here. It's just above the 100 moving average. And if that were to break, we'll go down to the 200 moving average, which is this uh, um, yellow line here, which is at 3100. So at this moment, it is technically only the Fed that is uh, able to help the U.S. economy. Uh, Congress is basically in a stalemate, and that is not a good thing. Uh, every single time we have a crisis in the United States, and uh, and um, and Congress Congress has uh, been powerless to help, and this market has broken down significantly. So even though we um, we have the Federal Reserve that is trying to pump liquidity in this market. Um, that probably will not be enough. It basically has to have additional stimulus from the United States Congress in order to get this market back on track. Uh, so if people want to see the longer analysis of where I expect the S&P 500 to go um, the next few months, uh, people can look at the weekly uh, analysis that I uploaded yesterday. But for tomorrow, I do expect this market probably do have a little bit of pullback, but we are going to uh, test uh, 3,200. Um, we can just look at all the technical indicators and uh, come to a fairly um, concrete conclusion that we are going to test that level. If that level breaks, if we break this 100 moving average, we'll go down to the 200 moving average, which is 3,100. We can look at the, the, the Bollinger Band as well. We basically were at the top, uh, pierced the over the top of the Bollinger Band, and now we're basically going down. Uh, if we go all the way down to the lower Bollinger Band, that is at 2,900. Uh, the stochastic is pointed straight down, indicating that momentum is basically on, on the selling side. So expect this market to go lower before we go higher. Long run for this market uh, depends on whether or not uh, uh, Congress will uh, give more stimulus. At this point, I don't really see that happening. Uh, they're going to be neck and neck, Republicans and Democrats, uh, over the over the, um, the selection of the new justice as uh, Supreme Court justice, and there will probably be no room for additional stimulus um, before the uh, election uh, or after the election. So this can be get this can get really ugly if we basically break um, these levels here and these levels here. We'll go all the way down to. Uh, these um, previous lows. 
We can look at the Fibonacci retracement and see that we have broken through the first Fibonacci retracements. The second of 38 is here, and then we have the 50, and then we have all the way down here, we have the 60. And if the 60 breaks, we go and test these lows again. So we look at the Dow Jones. So very similar here, we have uh, broken down today around 3%. It's still uh, decreasing at the moment. We are down uh, minus 2.27%. And uh, at this point, we are going to retest uh, or going to test these um, the moving averages here. The first one is the 300 moving average. Then we have the green one, which is the 100 moving average. And underneath that, we have the 200 moving average. We're, when we get close to these moving averages, we will have a bounce and then we'll see whether or not we'll go lower. If the S&P 500 goes lower, the Nasdaq goes lower, then this the Dow Jones will also go lower. Uh, if you look at the technical indicators, uh, we are at uh, 33. Uh, we're not oversold yet, but we're getting close. And the MACD is also pointing to lower momentum. Sorry. So if you look at the Bollinger Bands, we are uh, very similar to S&P 500. We pierced the top and now we're basically heading to this lower shear, which is around, uh, if we go to the lowest part of the Bollinger Band, it's at almost around uh, 23,000 or 24,000. Um, Stochastic is basically pointing to uh, the momentum is um, it's, uh, on the seller side. If you look, this is the weekly chart. So Yes, if you look at the daily chart, we basically, um, momentum changed and then we went down quite significantly. If we look at the weekly chart, this will indicate that we will see uh, much lower price action the next, uh, probably this week and also the next week. Um, how low this market probably will go, if you look at the Fibonacci retracement to the highest here. We have not pierced the first Fibonacci retracement, but the 30 is at around 25,000, the 50 is around 24,000, and the 60 is at 22,000. If this breaks, then we'll go all, down, all the way down to 18,000. And of course, as I said, we basically need Congress to pass additional stimulus uh, in order to get this market going again. Um, Historically, that has been the case. Uh, the Fed basically can't save this market alone. So, if you look at the Nasdaq, it has not broken down as substantially as uh, the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones. However, we are uh, close to 10,500, which is uh, this area here, which is the first significant support area. You see historically here that acted as a, uh, as support. If this level breaks, we have also the you know, 100 moving average right underneath, then we'll go lower to the uh, 10,000 uh, level, which is around here. We also see that this was significant support uh, all the way back in, in June. So um, at this point, most of the, uh, most of the uh, companies that were the reason for this massive bull run here, uh, for example, Apple, Amazon, uh, Facebook, Netflix, and so on, uh, are fairly overvalued at this point. So uh, we may see uh, this market go low. I do expect us to, uh, to get to uh, at least 10,500. If this breaks, we'll certainly go to, to 10,000 before we go higher. Uh, technical indicators are indicating that we are going lower. MACD is looking terribly. And at this moment, we are oversold at the RSI. Uh, weekly looks like we are uh, approaching the red line. Uh, if we do break through the red line, we go 
uh, we that means that we will go much lower. We'll go down to ten thousand before we go higher from here. So um, at this point, I still don't. I'm not shorting this market. These indexes are um, are too risky to short because it can change on a dime. Uh, the companies that you're betting against in this market or in this index are Facebook, Amazon, Netflix. Uh, some of the best companies in the world, some of the wealthiest companies in the world. Uh, it is just uh, not a market that you should bet against. Um, the best thing to do here is basically to buy the dips. Uh, and the lower the market goes, uh, the more value um, uh, buying opportunity basically gives you. So I um, hope you find these, uh, this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hitting the like button and support uh, and the bell button and um, good luck and thank you very much.